a book club, but what was your way into reading? And did you have any favourite authors growing up? Yeah, well, I had a library at the end of... I grew up in East Wittering. Brilliant. And um, we had a tiny library at the very end of my road. I was also a latchkey kid, so my parents both worked. And so we used to come straight home from school um, on foot. And I would often, with my sister, stop off at the library. And so we spent hours there. Um, you know, all of the usual things, you know, from very early days, I loved the Dr. Seuss books, loved the rhyme and rhythm of them. Um, and, you know, as I got older, I, I you know, that, that thing where you start to be an independent reader, I loved that at school. It was the only thing, actually, that I, I felt really enthusiastic about at school. My primary years were great, but as soon as I got to the, the high school, I was a bit, you know, I was a dropout, really. Um, but I always read. So that was for me, you know, my education was very much in just keep reading and reading things that I wanted to read and not what the school wanted me to read. It's not the right time, is it? For kids, you know, education, I came to it much later um, and I wanted it then. All I wanted to do was sort of choose my own, my own thing at school. In our teens, we were all into Virginia Andrews and then Stephen King. <laughs> oh, you see, you all were too. <laughs> Um, and, but then actually it wasn't until I was in my 20s and I didn't go to university as a young person. I, I went in my 30s. Um, but in my 20s, because I hadn't gone to university and I'd gone straight into the body shop where I developed a career, I then started reading a lot of the classics because I wanted to, not because I had to. And um, So by the time I did go to university as a 35-year-old, um, I was already, you know, I'd already read a lot of the classics because that, I was, I felt... A, a sort of compulsion to do that um, and I think having that relationship with the library early from a very early age and having you know my my father was very keen reader he bought us books we always had books for Christmas and birthdays there was always a book um, it was valued I suppose and I was really fortunate really fortunate to be in a family where reading was valued um, and so you know and so I'm still a book lover today.